The history of house was started since people began to live in the earth. People's purpose of building was to protect themselves from outside attacks such as wild beasts and natural disasters. From building a high, the form of house was created. Then what is Hanok? Hanok is a Korean traditional house. It is a Korean distinctive house which was built to avoid the heat and cold in the Korean peninsula which has both continental climate and oceanic climate. Hanok is assumed that it began to have a form of house from 4th century and it started to have a present form from 14th century. Hanok is a house which people who had an ability to observe nature lived. People who grasped four seasons and cooked with them well lived in Hanok. Hanok has a structure that human and nature can coexist for a long time and it used nature energy as a driving force. Then how people built Hanok? Firstly, use stones and soil to build a sterile bait a little bit higher than a flat land. Then put founding stones on it and put up wood pillars. In here, make windows, build walls, and place a roof. To make a roof, put rafter first, and then put straight planks and red woods, which disperse weight and keep its balance on it. Finally, tile a roof with filling soil in the intervals, and then building a hanok is completed. Hanok's names are different depending on the materials used in a roof. There are tile roofed house, thatched house, stone house, shingle roofed house, and so on. Among them, tile roofed house usually represents Hanok. Hanok structures also varied in different localities. In South Korea, people use this structure, but in Central Area, they use this structure and they use this structure in this area. This is because of climate. For example, the summer was very long and hot in South Korea, so they built house with airy structure. Whereas the winter was very long and cold in this area, so in this, people built a house which can shut out the wind well. To build a hanok, people used wood, stone, and soil. They always used eco-friendly materials which they could easily get near their houses. By using these materials, they tried to reduce carbon emission and raise energy efficiency. Columns were usually made by wood, and stereo bait was made by stones or mud. Materials for a roof were different depending on people's position and their property. People of high position used tile, but others used straw. In contrast, almost all of the walls were built with soil. Nowadays, because of its small heat loss, soil is one of the most popular and general material in the situation that energy is gradually being exhausted. Soil possesses superb insulating qualities and heat storage performance. So it is excellent material to use not only in the region that has a great difference between the heat and the cold, but also in the region which is always hot or always cold. In other words, in Korea, which also has the damp climate, soil that has function of ventilation, Humidity control and temperature control must be a good material. In summer, the soil doesn't conduct heat to inside. Also, it absorbs moisture when the loom is damp and emits it when the loom is dry. In winter, it keeps the warmth of sun and emits it into the loom. Also, it prevents chilly air from getting into the house. 
In conclusion, people used natural elements such as wood, stones, and soil to build Hanok. And because it is built with these materials, Hanok goes back to nature when its life ends. Koreans lived on the floor when the weather was hot and went into the room when it became cold. This is very excellent combination. Wood, which is used to make floor, and the fire, which comes from fireplace, have an antipathy to each other. So no one put them together when they construct buildings. However, human needs both of them because it is the most appropriate method to cope with the heat and cold. So Hanok placed them together in one place. In Hanok, people used under as a heating system. Then what is under? Under is a way of transferring heat on people by making a fire at the fireplace. The heat that enters the fireplace warms the house and the smoke exits through the chimney. In other words, under is a traditional way of heating system using heat conduction, radiation, and convection. Then why heating the floor is a good method of heating? It's because warming hands and feet and cooling head is a good for people's health. Also, under is a very economical heating system. While western fireplace transfer about one-fifth of the whole heat, under can save its heat and radiate it for a long time. Moreover, if they install a hypercost well, they can even keep heat for several days. Also, in summer, we can feel cool when we sit on the under because it keeps cold inside. Especially, the room is very pleasant because the floor itself is heated and it is beneficial in the aspect of space usage because they don't need to install any extra radiator inside. Under's secret is floor and air circulation. It regulates the heat which goes under the floor through the fireplace by putting soil between stones. Also, it disperses and controls the temperature of whole room by making flat stones under the floor in different thickness. Besides, it uses the flow of air very efficiently by making ceiling height different. Under is now getting attention from the world along with Korean and metal type. The floor of Hanok avoids moisture from the ground, blocks sunlight in summer, and has a function of ventilation. The space under the floor is cooler than above the floor because of the shade under the floor. And because air flows from lower temperature to higher temperature, cool air comes up through a crack of floor, so it is very cool in summer. Although the yard is the place where most of people's attention lies on, it does not possess any landscape facilities. Why is that so? Since people leave the yard empty, its temperature rises a lot when there is sunshine. At the same time, the backyard has relatively lower temperature because of the woods and mountains located at the back of the Hano. As a result, the different temperature between two places cause convection current. The heated atmosphere at the front yard rises, while the cool air at the backyard will replace the space. However, since the structure is blocking the way, the cold atmosphere has to pass through the house. This is the reason why in the inside of Hanok is cool in summer. Thus, the main hall has a large backdoor, and this is connected to the backyard. The backyard functions as an air conditioner during the summer. The structure of the main hall is not the only wisdom that the ancestors had. They arranged the main house and the warehouse diagonally so that one end was wider than the other. This was also one of the cooling systems which used wind speed. As the wind passes through the passage in summer, it passes more rapidly because the passage becomes narrow toward the end, so that people inside the house can stay cool. Moreover, the very end of the warehouse was also used as a refrigerator. As you may have noticed, ancestors understood how the convection current worked and applied it to their real lives, enhancing their livings. 
They knew how to cope with hot temperature in summer. Eaves also have a science in it. It blocks out sunlight when the sun is high in summer, while it takes sunlight when the sun is low in winter. Angles and depths of the eaves are also different depending on seasonal characteristic in each region. Eaves regulate the amount of solar radiation. Hanji is traditional Korean paper handmade from mulberry trees. People we paper the inside of Hanok with this paper. Not only we paper the wall, but also we paper the door with it. Hanji is very well known for its excellence. When Hanji is used for window paper, it keeps out the cold and makes the most appropriate lighting for people. Hanji looks very thin, but it is very excellent for keeping out the cold. Also, we don't need any curtains if we repaper the window with it because it blocks sunlight appropriately. Hanji also can regulate humidity level. It absorbs moisture when the room is damp and emits it when the room is dry. Even some people claim Hanji absorbs dust so it is able to clean the air. Like this, Hanji is very excellent and eco-friendly material, so people who live in this kind of house can live healthier life. Furthermore, it is said that people can even cure on atopic dermatitis. Hanok is very scientific and eco-friendly house. We can see our ancestors' wisdoms everywhere in Hanok. It only used eco-friendly materials, and it was excellent at receiving and using sunlight and wind. So, it was cool in summer and warm in winter. Hanok was good for people's health and it was a very wise house. From Hanok, we can find a correlation between architecture and science and we can find how people coexist with nature. Still, some architects are studying Hanok and get ideas from it. In recent years, the excellence of Hanok has been re-evaluated in Korea and the number of people who modernize Hanok and combine it with their own houses or buildings has increased. It might be hard to use all of the scientific principles used in Hanok in modern building. However, appropriate use of them will create a positive effect. For example, we can build the walls with mixed soil and cement or use materials like wood in the house. It will not only protect the environment, but also make comfortable residential environment.